Arachne In Greek mythology, Arachne was a talented mortal weaver who challenged Athena, goddess of wisdom and crafts, to a weaving contest. This hubris resulted in her being transformed into a spider. There are many versions of the story's weaving contest, with each saying that one or the other won. Arachne was a Lydian maiden who was the daughter of Idmon of Colophon, who was a famous dyer in purple. She was credited to have invented linen cloth hand nets while her son Closter introduced the use of spindle in the manufacture of wool. She was said to have been a native of Hype, near Colophon in Asia Minor. One version appears in the Metamorphoses of the Roman poet Ovid. In this version, Arachne was a shepherd's daughter who began weaving at an early age. She became a great weaver, boasted that her skill was greater than that of Athena, and refused to acknowledge that her skill came, in part at least, from the goddess. Athena took offense and set up a contest between them. Presenting herself as an old lady, she approached the boasting girl and warned, You can never compare to any of the gods. Plead for forgiveness and Athena might spear your soul. Ha! Huh? I only speak the truth and if Athena thinks otherwise then let her come down and challenge me herself, Arachne replied. Athena removed her disguise and appeared in shimmering glory, clad in the sparkling white chitin. The two began weaving straight away. Athena's weaving represented four separate contests between mortals and the gods in which the gods punished mortals for setting themselves as equals off gods. Arachne's weaving depicted ways that the gods had misled and abused mortals, particularly Zeus, tricking and seducing many women. When Athena saw that Arachne had not only insulted the gods but done so with a work far more beautiful than Athena's own, she was enraged. She ripped Arachne's work to shreds and hit her on the head three times. Terrified and ashamed, Arachne hanged herself. Then Athena said, Live on then, and yet hang, condemned one, but, lest you are careless in future, this same condition is declared, in punishment, against your descendants, to the last generation. After saying this, she sprinkled her with the juice of Hecate Serb, and immediately at the touch of this dark poison, Arachne's hair fell out. With it went her nose and ears, her head shrank to the smallest size, and her whole body became tiny. Her slender fingers stuck to her sides as legs the rest is belly, from which she still spins a thread, and, as a spider, weaves her ancient web. This showed how goddesses punished mortals who dared to insult them. The taxonomical class name Arachnida and the name for spiders in many Romance languages are both derived from Arachne. The metamorphosis of Arachne in Ovid's telling furnished material for an episode in Edmund Spencer's mock heroic Mirapotmos, 257-352. Spencer's adaptation, which rereads an Ovidian story in terms of the Elizabethan world is designed to provide a rationale for the hatred of Arachne's descendant Aragnol for the butterfly hero Clarion. Dante Alighieri uses Arachne in Canto 17 of Inferno, the first part of the Divine Comedy, to describe the horrible monster Gerion. His back and all his belly and both flanks were painted arabesques and curlicues, the Turks and Tartars never made a fabric with richer colors intricately woven, nor were such complex webs spun by Arachne. The tale of Arachne inspired one of Velázquez's most factual paintings, Las Hilandras, in which the painter represents the two important moments of the myth. In the front, the contest of Arachne and the goddess, in the back, an abduction of Europa that is a copy of Titian's version. In front of it appears Minerva at the moment she punishes Arachne. It transforms the myth into a reflection about creation and imitation, god and man, master and pupil. It has also been suggested that Jeremiah Scott Health's 19th century novella, The Black Spider, was heavily influenced by the Arachne story from Ovid's Metamorphoses. In the novella, a woman is turned into a venomous spider having reneged on a deal with the devil. Arachne has had a considerable degree of influence on modern popular culture. She frequently appears in modern fantasy books, movies, and television series in the form of a monstrous spider. In, she is pictured as a grotesque, half-woman, half-spider monster who nests on people to produce killer spiders. She is the central character in the 2011 novel The Spider Goddess by Tara Moss. In Class of the Titans, Arachne is changed into a giant spider on makes a deal with Cronus to become human again. Cronus does not hold up the end of his bargain though and betrays her after getting her to trap the heroes for him. After being berated by Atlanta, Athena turns Arachne back into a human, and she is allowed to live at the Olympus High School, weaving for the gods. In the 13th episode from season 6 of Supernatural, Unforgiven, the monster of the week is an Arachne, 
depicted as a humanoid monster with spider-like attributes and abilities, including the ability to weave strong webs and a poisonous bite that can turn other humans into arachnids. They can only be killed by decapitation and before one appeared in Bristol, Rhode Island hadn't been seen in 2,000 years. While Solus, Sam Winchester hunted one, but was unaware that it had turned its victims into arachnids as well. One of the turned victims comes back for revenge and Sam is forced to kill him. Arachne is also featured in the Percy Jackson and Heroes of Olympus series. All of Athena's children, including Annabeth Chase, are arachnophobic because of Arachne's dispute with Athena. Arachne appears towards the end of the mark of Athena as a large spider while still maintaining human features. She is defeated by Annabeth because of her pride and eventually they are both sent falling into Tartarus, where Percy Jackson kills Arachne. In the novel The Last Unicorn written by Peter S. Beagle, a plain brown spider is bewitched into believing that she is Arachne until the witch who enchanted her is killed. She is mentioned to be one of the creatures in Mommy Fortuna's Midnight Carnival. The book describes Arachne as dot 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 the greatest weaver in the world, her fate's the proof of it. She had the bad luck to defeat the goddess Athena in a weaving contest. Athena was a sore loser, and Arachne is now a spider, creating only for Mommy Fortuna's Midnight Carnival by special arrangement. Warp of snow and woof of flame, and never any two the same. Arachne In Marvel Comics, Arachne is the name used by the second Spider-Woman to distinguish herself from Jessica Drew, the original Spider-Woman. In Volume 3 of Monster Musume, an Arachne named Rachner Arachnera is introduced, she goes on to become a member of the Monster Girl household in Volume 4. Arachne Gorgon is a powerful witch and one of the main antagonists of Soul Eater. She was responsible for crafting the first demon weapons, an act that death fiercely opposed, forcing her to bide hard time and remain in hiding for 800 years. She returns to lead the risen Arachnophobia, her personal army against death. The story of Arachne has also been adapted for many plays. She is the inspiration for a character featured in the Broadway musical, Arachne, Spider-Girl, is a play for children based on the myth by Ursula du Bussarski first published in the NSW School magazine. Gustave Doré's illustration of Arachne's punishment in Purgatory for Dante's Purgatorio has had a surprising number of pop culture appearances. It is one of the many recurring images used by the rock band, the Mars Volta. It has been used in the cover of their live EP, as a backdrop for their live shows, and a favorite accessory for guitarist and composer Omar Rodriguez Lopez in the form of a belt buckle. Eminem's 2013 music video for the song Rap God features imagery from Dante's Purgatorio, including the illustration of Rachne. On episode 245 of the comedy Bang! Bang! podcast, comedian Neil Campbell references Arachne and Athena's rivalry during a freestyle rap battle. In the popular MOBA game, Smite, Arachne is listed as a playable deity in the Greek pantheon. In a short story more spend against John Wyndham tells of how Arachne finds herself in the clutches of a spider-obsessed collector and of the deal she makes with the collector's wife Lydia. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.